Cookies, thanks for joining me today. This is Kay, and I am bringing you a nice little morning kickstart routine or any time of the day routine whenever you may need it. It's just a kind of quick full body stretch, move around the energy, kind of pick up that metabolism and just stretch out all the tightness and tension that you have been accumulating. So we are just going to move feel good, get into our bodies and slow it down. So when you are ready, just finding your comfortable seat, your Sukhasana, just as so, or crisscross, whatever feels good for you. Even sitting up on a blanket, support the hips here. Now, reach around and pull the fleshy part of the sit bones away. That way we really have those two bones grounding us down, plugging us in and connecting us into the earth. From here, rest the hands on the knees, either palms down or palms up. Palms down is a great way to ground yourself down in, to kind of find a little bit of an anchor. Or palms up as a gesture of receiving. You are opening your heart, your mind, and your body to receiving what you're needing. And just feeling the breath, not judging it, not forcing its shape to be anything other than what it's willing to be at this moment. And just becoming an observer of your body and how it is feeling. Begin to gently scan over the body. Notice the areas that you're holding some tightness or tension. Maybe even some little minor aches or pains that you have in your body. See how the legs, the back, the head, and the neck are feeling. And now from here, just gently pull the belly in and up and notice how that little kind of engagement of the low belly just allows the spine to grow a little longer and a little taller. So really feel that beautiful connection of the tailbone down into the earth and the crown of the head reaching up. So beginning to create this beautiful long line of the spine, sitting up nice and tall, open the heart, shuffle the shoulders down and let a smile wash across the face. From here, inhaling, arms reach up overhead. And as you exhale, just float them down. I like to just allow my head to kind of follow the patterns of my arms. So my chin looks up. And as I exhale, I tuck my chin slightly. So beginning to really Feel the breath beginning to move, beginning to circulate. One more time here. Beautifully done. Float the hands down and from here, just kind of cross the ankles, fold over the shins and come into your tabletop. So checking into that foundation, wrists and your shoulders knees under the hips and making that beautiful kind of box shape here with the body. Low belly is in and up, nice flat back, long neck, and pull the shoulders away from the ears. Notice if you're kind of hunching in. Grow everything long, beautiful. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just send the hips back. Beautiful. Inhale, coming up. Keep your gaze down, exhale, send the hips back. So maybe walking the hands forward a little bit as you just kind of begin to glide the hips from front to back. And one more time here. Beautiful. Now from here, coming back up, keep the right hand planted down. Inhaling, reach the left arm up to the sky, open across the heart. And as 
as you exhale, thread that left arm under the heart, coming down onto the left shoulder, left temple. Beautiful. You can keep the right hand by the face. You can extend it out in front of you, or you can reach the right arm back and rest it on the low back. Just begin to breathe. It's a beautiful way to begin to open the shoulders. Beautiful. Take one more breath here. Release the right hand back down to the face. And as you inhale again, press into the right hand and reach the left arm up and open. So exiting the same way we came in. And then float that left hand down. Beautiful. From here, extend this right foot out to the right. So we want the knee in line with the right arch of the foot. Now from here, just kind of walk the hands back, bring the hands onto the hips, and just kind of wiggle out the hips, notice any tightness. From here, inhaling arms reach up, and as you exhale, just gently soften the right arm down to rest onto the right leg, even onto the upper thigh, maybe down a little bit further but we just want to keep the heart lifted. So inhaling, and as you exhale, then take a nice little bend over to the right. So just extending and kind of reaching over this right extended leg. Notice if your hips are kind of pointing back, just pull everything back in and up. Maybe bending just a little bit more if that's okay. Beautiful stretch through the left side body here. Inhale and exhale. Roll around the left wrist and then reaching the arms back up to the sky. And then from here, we're going to lower the left arm down outside of the left knee. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, maybe take a nice little bend over. So this gate pose is a great way to just stretch out the side bodies. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming back up through center. Nice little stretch up. And then as you exhale, release the hands behind the back, interlace the hands, forming one single fist. Press that fist down, squeeze the shoulders together behind you. Begin to gently work on opening the heart. Soften the shoulders down. So imagine that you're reaching this single fist down to the earth as you're reaching the crown of the head up towards the sky. Beautiful. Take one more breath here. Release the hands. Bring the hands back out in front of you. And then we're going to take this right foot, kind of pick up that right foot, swing it around and behind, and extend it over to the left edge. So to the outer left edge of the mat, maybe peel and look over that left shoulder, look back at the right toes. Beautiful. Slowly unravel from here, come back to your tabletop. Curl the toes under, bring the knees together, shift your weight back and come to sit on your heels into our hero's pose. Now, if this doesn't feel good, you can always just come to sit down on, on your hips. You can pad up the knees with a blanket. From here, we're gonna reach the arms out in front of us, bend this right arm, and then wrap this left arm under, maybe back of hands or maybe palm to palm touches or Reach around, give yourself a nice little hug. Now begin to soften the shoulders down, maybe wiggle the head no. Show shoulders down, elbows up. Imagine that I am coming around and I'm just gently kind of softening your shoulders down your back and 
gently kind of tilting your elbows up. Breathe here. One more breath. Beautiful. Unravel the arms, shake them out, come back to your tabletop. Beautiful. Now moving on to the other side, that left hand stays as it is. We're going to inhale to soften and reach the right arm up to the sky. Open across the heart. And as you exhale, begin to thread that right arm under the heart and coming onto the right shoulder, right temple. Find the placement that you would like this left hand to have. And maybe reach it around, rest it on the low back. Beautiful, taking one more breath here. Release the left hand back by the face, exiting the same way that we came in. Slowly begin to open the right arm back up to the sky. Open the heart, smile, and then float that right hand down. Beautiful. And then from here, extend the left leg out towards the left. That way our right knee and the left arch of our foot are in line with one another. Beautiful from here. Walk the hands onto the hip. Take a moment, kind of shuffle from side to side. Great place to check in with the hips and the legs. See how everything's doing. Inhaling arms reach up overhead. And as you exhale, just gently kind of glide this left arm down, resting it here on the left leg. Inhale, reaching up. And as you exhale, just taking a nice little bend over this left extended leg. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. You can have your gaze up or down, wherever feels best for your neck. Notice if your hips are kind of scooping back, pull everything back up. Beautiful, maybe taking the stretch a little bit deeper if you'd like. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, roll around the right wrist, arms reach up to the sky. And as you exhale, just gently kind of guide this right hand down outside of the right knee. Working first on just opening the left arm to the sky. Open the heart. And as you exhale, finding a nice little bend as you stretch this left arm overhead. So finding this beautiful kind of stretch from the left fingertips into the left foot. So like we're sending our body, we're reaching it in two different directions. Beautiful, inhale and exhale. Inhaling slowly, just kind of coming back up to center. Reach the arms up overhead. And we're going to release the hands down, interlace the hands. So forming that one nice single fist again. Working on pressing the fist down. Maybe taking this fist with the opposite pinky on bottom. So squeezing those shoulders together. Press the fist down as the crown of the head reaches up. Beautiful. Breathe and connect into your space here. And then slowly release and bring the hands down to the mat. From here, just picking up that left foot gently and just gliding the left leg behind and around, resting it over to the right side. Maybe looking back at the left toes, peeking over that right shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Inhaling, coming back through center. Bring the knees together, curl the toes under, sitting back into our hero's pose. And then from here, we're gonna bring this left arm out in front and wrap the right arm underneath. Maybe back of hands or palm to palms touch. Again, option to just give yourself a beautiful hug as you inch the fingers towards each other behind your back. So just finding what works for you and your body today. Soften the shoulders down, gently lift the elbows. So elbows up, shoulders down, smile. Don't take it too serious. We're just here to feel good and to move. It's all good. Beautiful, release the hands, shake them out, come into your tabletop. And then from here, we're going to curl the toes under, press into the hands and begin to lift the hips up towards the sky. Coming into our first down dog, taking a lot of time here to, just to let the body kind of acclimate to being inverted. So head down, hips high, and find some good bend of the knees. No need to straighten and lock out the legs here. When we bend the knees, we can actually create more length in the spine. So just taking your time to come in. Taking a deep breath in, let it go. Beautiful. From here, coming into your kind of full version of your down dog where you find a little less bend in the knees perhaps, or just whatever is working for your body today. Finding some stillness, beautiful. Inhale, soften the knees, soften the elbows. And as you exhale, reach this right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Stretch that right leg up high, inhale. And as you exhale, just gently kind of bring the knee towards the nose, hug it for just a second, and then step that right foot by the right thumb. Left hand comes inside of the right foot and reach this right arm up to the sky. Twist and open. One of my favorite poses here. Inhale. And exhale, release the right hand down. Lower this left knee. Great time to maybe pad up the left knee for a little support. And then just kind of finding your way into your low lunge here for a moment. I really love to use the blocks here in my low lunge, just place them under the hands just to guide my hands a little bit easier. Instead of me having to reach far down to meet my mat, the blocks bring the mat up to meet me. So just taking your time to see what feels good for you. Gaze is down at the mat. Let go of this kind of need to hold the head up. Just finding gentleness through the neck and the shoulders. Notice if you're pressing into your feet to kind of keep your hips up. See if you can just let the hips soften a little bit easier towards the earth. Relax your jaw. One more breath here. Wonderfully done. From here, we're gonna curl the left toes under, slowly begin to pick up this left knee, plant the hands down, and then we're just gonna kind of guide this right foot back into our three-legged dog, stretching it back up to the sky one more time. Just noticing how different this feels in the first time that we did it. And then exhale, lower that right foot down. Bicycle out the feet. 
Beautiful. Finding some stillness here in your down dog. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, soften the knees, soften the elbows. Exhale, reach this right leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Just a beautiful stretch here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Hug it for just a moment and then step the left foot by the left hand. Take your time. Right hand plants down firmly as this left arm opens up to the sky. toes curled under or you can flatten the foot down and again a great time and place to have your blocks to pat up the right knee if you would like to throw a blanket under it and just begin to soften into your low lunge here Anjani Asana just begin to sink down Way side to side, feel around the body. Maybe finding some gentle movement with the head and the neck. Beautiful, finding some stillness. Let go of the need to kind of hold the neck and the head up. Just softly allow gravity to take its course. As long as it feels okay and safe on your upper back and then notice if you're really kind of pressing into the feet and into that right knee to keep the hips up just let the hips soften with ease down towards the earth close your eyes Just feeling the power of your breath beginning to move and circulate and just kind of removing all of the stiffness and staleness that has been stuck inside. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Beautiful. Bringing your awareness back to your hands and your palms. Curl the right toes under. Gently begin to press and lift this right knee up and finding that gentle kind of rotation back as we pull this left foot back into our three-legged dog. Reaching that left leg up to the sky. Just noticing how different this feels than the first time we did it. And exhale, slowly lower that left foot down. Beautiful, bicycle out the feet. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Slowly lower the knees down. Send the hips back, stretch the arms forward. Inhale and exhale. As you inhale, begin to roll the spine into your plank pose, modified plank. So we're still on our knees, keeping the low belly in and up. Flatten the feet down. Nice long spine, long neck. Inhale. As you exhale, bend the elbows lower. Hug the elbows in all the way down, nice and slow. And it goes pelvis, belly button, chest, chin. Beautiful. Squeeze the elbows together behind you. Keep the hands by the low ribs. And inhale, just press and peel the chest off the floor, just a couple of inches. Exhale, lower. Inhale, peel the chest. Squeeze the elbows together. So we're not dumping our weight into our hands or wrists. We can even lift the hands off the mat. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhaling. 
maybe hover the hands and slowly lower down. Beautiful. Take the fingers wide, tint the fingertips coming onto the tips of them. Dial the elbows up towards the sky. Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, kind of poke under this right elbow, looking under it. Inhaling, coming through center. And exhale, a little twist rotation as we look under the left elbow. Inhaling through center. One more time to each side. Beautiful. Inhale, come all the way up through center and then slowly lower down. Bring the hands to the upper edges of the mat. Press into the hands and just kind of lifting up, keeping the elbows soft to begin with. Grow the neck long and maybe gently just kind of pressing into the hands and straightening the arms over time if that feels good. Just creating a nice long spine. Relax your jaw, really pressing the pelvis into the mat, activating the glutes and the top of the legs. That will protect our low back. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Kind of walk the hands back just a little bit. Take that turn of the wrists away, so the middle finger is pressing towards the front of the mat. And then pressing into the hands, hug the elbows in, and just coming back into your child's pose. Send the hips back, and just lower the forehead down, maybe roll the forehead from side to side. And finding your really comfortable variation of your child's pose, maybe knees together or knees apart, whatever you need. Just taking about four breaths here. Really inhaling warm and wide, begin to expand and create beautiful space in the back body. It's a great way to decompress the spine, especially if you sit all day or have a long commute. Taking one more breath here. Beautiful. Walk the hands out in front of you, stretch through the arms, and then slowly lift the hips up, and we're going to come into a puppy pose. So coming onto our knees, a great time to pat up the knees. I prefer to keep my toes curled under, but you can keep the top of the feet flat. And then we're just going to work on lowering our heart and our chin towards the mat as we keep the hips high. So it's a great heart opener, a great stretch for the shoulders and the upper back. Relax your jaw and just see if you can find a comfortable way to find some softness here. Remembering that your practice is a beautiful balance between effort and ease. So finding that beautiful place right in the middle. Taking one more breath here. Beautiful, slowly pressing your way back up. And we're gonna cross the ankles and just fold over the shins and come to sit. So a great time to pat up the hips with a blanket, a little support under the hip. And then let's reach back and pull the fleshy part of the sit bones away again. That way those two bones really just plug us into Mother Earth. From here, inhaling, arms reach up nice and wide. And as you exhale, just float the arms down and take a nice forward fold. Uttanasana, seated forward fold here. 
And, you know, no pressure here to feel like you need to like overreach and really reach for the toes and drop the head down. No, 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 no. We just want to work with what our body is giving us today. So your yoga practice needs to be personal and intimate for you. It's not like this one size fits all. It's more of you meet your body where it is and know that it changes from day to day. And that's just part of the process is just learning to kind of accept us for how we are, knowing that each day is different. We may feel really great one day and the next day we may be a little bit off, but just always kind of meeting ourselves where we are. So just beginning to find a nice fold here over the legs of any amount. And it's okay to gently allow the spine to kind of round as you drop the head safely. More of a passive forward fold than an active one here today. Beautiful. On your next inhale, just slowly walking yourself up. Let's bring the soles of the feet together, coming into our butterfly baddha konasana. So you can have the knee or the feet in close, or you can have them out a little bit further, like a diamond, whatever feels good for you. It's a great time for your blocks. You can press them under the knees just to support the knees instead of having gravity just guide them down to the earth if that's a little too intense. So from here, just sitting up nice and tall, kind of swaying side to side. And then as you exhale, just gently walk yourself forward any amount. Again, no need or pressure to create this really awesome reach to the floor, fold all the way down type of pose. You know, we're just going to meet ourselves where we are today. two more breaths here. Beautiful. Slowly just making your way back up. Guide the knees together. And then from here, just grabbing on behind the knees and just gently kind of rolling the spine piece by piece down to the mat. Once you come down, just hug the knees into the heart. Maybe a gentle rock from side to side or whatever feels good. And then just slowly letting everything go and making your way into your Shavasana. Your final resting pose, maybe move your ponytail out. Let all final wiggles of the body go. And just allow yourself to sink in softer and deeper. Let go of the control of the breath. Let go of the need to want to hold the body up. Just let the earth absorb your body and your weight. Allow yourself to feel weightless in this moment as if you're floating on a cloud. Relax your jaw, your face. Just let everything begin to melt and absorb. And know that you have nothing to do in this moment, but just simply rest.
free to tune you out. And just continue on with your quietness and your Shavasana. I just wanted to kind of share a little Shavasana inspiration. Lately I've been going over this thought quite often in my head of quality over quantity. So the quality of the time that I'm spending with the people that I love over the quantity. So making the most of each moment instead of having thousands of little moments that weren't really very connective. And even into simpler things such as the quality of my breath. So really taking my breathing slower and more mindfully because having three truly slow, beautiful breath cycles can do so much for your body and your mind than taking 18 shallow kind of shaky breaths. So quality over quantity. Even into kind of deeper and more internal ideas such as the quality of my thoughts and my feelings instead of the quantity of them. So noticing why I'm feeling a certain way kind of trying to process that and work through it and focus on one emotion or one feeling at a time instead of trying to sort out a thousand different things that I have going in my head or floating through my heart. So just taking time to process what I'm working on inside, on inside of me. So quality over quantity when it comes to working through my stuff. And even kind of taking this idea of quality over quantity to a, a larger scale, a bigger picture. And there has been one quote that has really kind of pulled all of this into true awareness for me. And that is, do small deeds with great love instead of great deeds with small love. So doing small deeds with great love instead of great deeds with small love. Quality over quantity. Taking a deep breath in, deep breath out. Just feel the breath returning in, filling you with spirit, energy, and love. Wiggle the toes, fingers, wrists, ankles, arms, legs, maybe a full body stretch, maybe a yawn. <sighs> And then maybe rolling over to one side or just coming up to sit, whatever you prefer. Personally, I prefer to just kind of rock front to back and come up to sit, but for some people, it's just a little bit more calming to come over to one side and slowly ease your way up. But we will all meet in our Sukhasana at the top of our mat, our easy seat, bringing the hands together at the heart center, Anjali Mudra plugging the sides of the thumbs right against your sternum, connecting enough to maybe feel that beautiful pulse, vibration or warmth radiating off of your heart center. Feel the beautiful rise and fall of the breath as it comes in and as it trickles out. Reminding yourself what a beautiful gift it is to simply have another heartbeat 
to draw another breath into this beautiful body of yours. Another day with the ones that we love. And going through this day with peace, patience, and gratitude. Gently bowing your head as you bow into your mind, your body, your heart, and your practice. Going through this day with the intention of quality over quantity and doing small deeds with great love instead of great deeds with small love. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your beautiful light, your beautiful love with me. Namaste.